Craftsmanship is not dead, and to prove it, visit the broom factory in Deschler. Frank Tammy has been making brooms 43 years, and very little has changed, even from the time his father worked here. We don't put uh, quite as much uh, finish on the brooms as what we used to. Hard velvet and spirals, beads, things like that. So while the basic broom is pretty much the same as ever, production in Deschler has changed a lot. In the 40s, in the, in the late 40s, Deschler, the Deschler Broom Factory employed almost 400 people in the factory itself. In 1950, after the fires, the number of people employed had sunk to less than 50. And that had major impact on the town, so the broom factory had to change. Stitching and finish work are done by machine. New plastic brooms are manufactured too. Keeping up with competition has brought stability. Uh, the brew factory today uh, is at its highest employment peak in over 10 years. The, because the, the type of broom may change, but there will always be a demand for brooms. So the combination of craftsmanship and machinery brings stability. And for Frank Tammy, that's reason to celebrate. I was around on the 75th. Now, that was a wing dinger, <laughs> and I hope this in here goes over as well as that one did. John Brooks, 1011 News, Deschler. Deschler is located in south-central Nebraska. The community will celebrate its centennial this weekend with an alumni banquet, a parade, and an old Settlers Day on Sunday. And, of course, the 1011 softball team will be there on Saturday to join 